In the name of God, hi. Hi to all dear friends and partners. We are presenting another work provided by the Educational and Researcher Department of Kenkashka Group. Considering large-scale use of mild-side cameras through the license plates in all over the country for many years, our partners have asked us common repeated questions about the installing different types of plate recognition cameras and the standard in installing these cameras to get the best feedbacks many times. Therefore, we have decided to prepare this educational video to give you information about the points and the standards that an installer or a company should know and notice. We hope that you can get the best feedback with high accuracy on license plates recognition or LPR projects then. Well, some points are extremely important to be noticed in license plate recognition. Most important one is that you should specify and choose your option whether you want to run a software or use eyes in LPR because these two issues are quite separate and different for example in license plate recognition by using eyes you don't need to meet the standards because your eyes have more chance to read the license plates due to having a high ability Suppose you have installed a camera on a highway and three or four vehicles are passing parallel to each other there. In this case, your eyes are somehow able to recognize license plates. But it is quite different in LPR software because when we install a camera with an special angle, the eyes might recognize the number. If it is 6, or three. But LPR software have a special algorithm for observing numbers, so they probably make mistake in recognizing number due to the angle of a camera license plates. Therefore, when you are going to install LPR software, it is recommended to give some points which will be mentioned later in your minds. In the first step, the most important point to be considered is the height of the camera to the ground surface. We usually receive some calls or mails from our partners to ask the proper height of a camera to be installed. It is proper height 2 meters, 3 meters, or 5 meters. And immediately some answers are given by the other partners in social networks which are 2 or 3 meters. But these answers to this question are totally wrong because adjusting camera in certain height doesn't solve our problem. What is important is the distance of vehicle from the camera and the angle made with the horizon and vertical. Keep in mind that the angle of a camera should be less than 30 degrees to the vertical. and less than 15 degrees to the horizon. If not, LPR softwares can't recognize letters and numbers correctly. For example, in Arabic or Persian license palette letters, sin or sad or numbers 2 and 3, 1 and 9, 9 and 4 are integrated with each other, so they are hard to be separated from each other to be read correctly due to a wrong angle. In English plates, in some fonts, we have the same problem when facing letters C and G, E and F, or numbers 8 and 9. So, the mention letters and numbers are not easily recognizable correctly, but we should mention that we don't have the limitation in reading license plates by eyes, and we have a wider side coverage. It should also be kept in mind that the specified numbers of shots are usually 15 frames per second in traffic projects and more number of shots just increase CPU usage of the server. Now, imagine a vehicle with a speed of 120 km per hour is passing across from a camera with an angle of 30 degrees. Here, the license plate can be read by 3 or 4 shots 
but if you disregard the mention right angle, ultimately the camera might give you four in a stance, a shot of a 60 degree angle of that vehicle. In this case, the accuracy of that single shot is very very low. In the next step, another point to be considered is the type of the suitable camera lens that should be different based on the project purpose. Mildside Brands has suggested two lens series which are normally suitable for parking projects, with a focal length of 3 to 10.5 mm, and for traffic projects with a focal length of 7 to 22 mm. Now it's better to justify the reasons for these choices. As you can remember, the height of the camera shouldn't be less than 5.5 meters, and a vertical angle should be less than 30, and more than 15 degrees, while using license plate recognition softwares. So, what type of lens and distance can be optimal by considering these limitations? Based on mathematical calculations, if a camera is installed in a 5.5 meters high and a 16 degree vertical angle, the optimal image will be in a distance of 18 meters in the horizon and 18.8 meters to the camera. But in the same condition, if it is installed in a 30 degree angle, the license plate can be read approximately in a distance of 9.5 meters. So, the choice of the lens type should be based on the calculated distance. When we choose 2962 RFPV with the lens of 3 to 10.5 mm, the horizontal image is 33.3 degree by maximum zoom. Well, now we want to know how much is the weight of the image in a distance of the 18.8 meters by mathematical calculation. As you can see in the picture, if the camera is installed in the 5.5 meter height and the weight of image will be nearly 11.4 meters in the distance of the 18.8 meter by the maximum zoom of the 10.5 millimeter. Mention width of this image gives us the wide image which is not optimal in LPR softwares. Therefore, it is recommended to use the lens of 7 to 22 mm. Now you can have necessary calculations for this lens again based on mentioned mathematical calculations. Another point is the type of a lens. We never suggest fixed or manual or focal lens for LPR projects because lens adjustment or focusing should not be done manually in traffic projects or professional parking projects. Also notice if camera focus doesn't work well in long term, these motorized lenses have abilities for the automatic self-adjustment of the focusing not necessary for the users to get aware of the problems. So, in these projects, we should not look for typical and simple cameras in markets. The next point is related to f-stop. When the camera is zoomed more, there is less reflection of license palette to the camera. So the lens f-stop gets increased and infrared reflection gets decreased. Therefore, the distance for palette recognition shouldn't be more than 20 meters because increasing camera lens of a stop leads to increased noise at night and decreasing reflection. Well, the next point to be considered is compression. In network cameras, we benefit from formats like Motion JPEG, MPEG4, H.264, H.265 and H.265+. In your opinion, which one is the best choice for an optimal license plate recognition? For sure, we need the best image quality in LPR and we all know that the Motion JPEG format is one of the best choice because there is no compression in it. 
when we choose motion jpeg as the format of image and adjust it on for instance 20 numbers of shots 20 complete images are sent to the server which is amazing but motion jpeg has its own shortcomings the most serious one is the bandwidth for example imagine we have six cameras for the license palette recognition in project if each camera sends 15 or 20 megabit per second to the server they cover lots of bandwidth so more resources of servers and loads are imposed on network while the same cameras with h264 format have the bandwidth of 2 or 3 megabit per second however we can't deny that the best format for observing and recognition of a license plate is motion jpeg when we are using an lpr software because it doesn't make any changes in the images one more point we notice is that many companies and people believe if you are using LPR software at night, you can active HLC, WDR, DLC, and Antifac. But it's commonly wrong belief because none of them should be activated. The fewer changes in images, the better quality of license plate recognition we will have. But if you want to observe an image by eyes, in preferably sometimes HLC or WDR can be significantly helpful in LPR as a certain choice. And finally, the last point of this part is image resolution. In fact, unlike common belief, we don't need a high resolution for the images. On the contrary, we need high quality images. And high quality images don't mean having a high resolution. Good images refers to the images with the least noise. And it is one of the major problems in license plate recognition cameras at night. But what does license plate recognition at night mean? It means to have the least noise at night. If we have two cameras with same technology from a company, but if one of them is 2 megapixel, and the other one is 8 megapixel, for sure 2 megapixel will give us better quality of images at night. So, don't look for cameras with higher resolution for reading plates at night. Consider having optimal and high quality images at night. For this reason, Mildsight company has tried to use the most high priced and high grade Sony image sensor Star Wars series for license plate recognition cameras which has revolutionized surveillance system anyway it's better not to use 8 or 5 megapixel cameras even for mild side brands because 2 megapixel cameras like 2962 RFPB and 2862 RFPB have been the best choice at night up to now well we hope this was a useful video for you and we eagerly are waiting for your suggestions. We appreciate you for your attention. Thank you.